I'm Tom Lukasik, and I am the Vice President of Community Engagement at 4Kids. And I'm Linda Lukasik, and I am the Director of Training, Intern Services, and Clinical Supervision on the EPIC team at 4Kids, and we have fostered over 57 children. So we decided to foster again because we had done this for many years, but we still saw the great need in our community. We were so excited about doing this again because, first of all, I felt I was even more equipped to take care of that population. Uh, supervising the EPIC team and just being embedded with trauma-informed care, uh, we chose to take a 16-year-old boy and his four-year-old sister, and we knew that was going to be a challenge, but we just let it happen. And I remember the first time that we were, it was bath time, and it was shortly after they came in, I think the very first day, uh, I knew to say, hey, I'm taking your little sister up to, to take a bath. Would you like to come with me? And he did, and he stayed for a few minutes, and he left. But I just knew he would have felt so threatened if he couldn't see or watch that. And over, it took about three or four days, and he stopped parenting her, and he just, he just watched us. I do remember in that first week he came to me, like he went upstairs with them both and then came downstairs and he just said, Mr. Tom, Miss Linda is awesome. <laughs> he was learning so much about what he should be doing when it came to being a big brother rather than trying to be a father to his sister. It was just an opportunity for him to be himself, to be a 16 year old boy. So the, one of the other cool stories of this, this these kids in our home, they were, I mean, they were a lot of fun. We just had a ball, <laughs> we, we did. Uh, this little girl was, uh, she, she could throw some tantrums when she wanted to. <laughs> there was one day that she just did not want to go to bed. She was laying in our family room and just on the floor, kind of flailing <laughs> and no, I don't want to go to bed. And, and I'm just falling into my old habits and saying, Young lady, it's bedtime. You just need to get up and you need to go to bed. And as I'm saying that, I look up and I see Linda reminding me something that we teach in Epic. And she's got two fingers up and that just reminded me two choices. So I just said, okay, young lady, here's your choices. I could either carry you upstairs or you could walk with me and I'll hold your hand as we go up to bed. And as soon as I said that, she said, I'll walk with you and put her hand up to mine. And we walked up to bed and I was like, this works. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was just awesome. But she was so smart. She knew that that just made sense. And that that was the beauty of, for me, you know, knowing that Epic and Trauma Informed Care works with these kids. It's little things you need to know. And it, it just, we watched it. So there's one thing I could say to the person watching this video right now. Trust God, take a chance. These children need you and you will be a blessing to them and they will be a blessing to you.